Welcome! Travelers experience significant delays when they perform their everyday trips in large cities. This course will focus on understanding urban congestion and developing ways to improve mobility through advanced traffic management schemes. Can we develop simple and elegant ways to explain and understand these interactions? The first part of this course will start from the basics and introduce important traffic variables like flow, density and speed to describe traffic congestion. Afterwards, we will develop elegant models to study congestion evolution. Models are abstractions of the real systems that relate key variables with mathematical equations and physical intuition. They range from very detailed ones to aggregated representations of traffic in cities. Microscopic models, for example, describe how drivers react to the actions of the driver ahead and how they change lanes in order to improve their path towards their destination. Macroscopic models describe how flow and density in a road change dynamically with the conditions that occur. For example, a traffic signal that turns from green to red. A queue of vehicles is developed when demand is higher than capacity, and these queues grow with finite speed, creating what is called a traffic shockwave. Network-level models ignore small-scale information and describe how congestion changes over time and space in different zones of a city. Aggregated relations between traffic density and traffic flow emerge in a neat way, creating what is known as a macroscopic fundamental diagram. As new monitoring techniques emerge, cities are gaining access to a very large and diverse dataset. Besides the traditional loop detectors that are installed in the pavement, cities now use data from cameras, from GPS, cell phone traces, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, whatever. Altogether, this provides a very detailed image of the traffic evolution over time. If we have a good understanding of how congestion propagates in time and space, we can design smart control algorithms that increase the supply of our transport systems. For example, a driver can wait for some time on a ramp at the entrance of a highway in order to prevent the blockage at the main line of the highway. Similarly, adaptive traffic lights in urban environments can manage congestion in a smart way by identifying the critical bottlenecks of the infrastructure and forming the queues of vehicles in optimal locations, so as to maximize throughput. At the network level, after partitioning a city in homogeneous regions, we can control the intertransfers among regions, known as perimeter control, by adapting some key traffic lights. We should also understand why people behave the way they do, how they choose their route, their departure time, or their mode. We will see how individual decisions interact and how we can use simple tools, or perhaps more complicated schemes, to ensure that people take the decisions that are the best for society as a whole. This course consists of lectures, reading material, exercises, but also data from different case studies that help to understand better the different types of congestion. If you follow this course, you will learn how to use simple models to explain the causes of urban congestion. And you will also learn how to propose elegant traffic management schemes to alleviate congestion and improve mobility in urban networks. Enjoy the course!